Hi guys, my name is Wajid. Uh, I'm a five-year medical student. As you know that I have uh, cleared uh, use English Step 1 exam and I have uh, created this channel for uh, guidance about US English Step 1 exam. So today in this video, I will be talking about uh, you work for uh, Step 1, right? What is the correct time for taking it and what is the best strategy for solving it and how you will manage NBMEs with the U1. I will make all this clear in today's video. So first thing about subscription. As you know that there are different types of subscription for a uh, world. There is three month subscription, there is six month subscription, and there is again one year subscription, right? So uh, which type of subscription you will take? Uh, it depends upon uh, your study, right? And um, actually, if you are undergraduate student like me, uh, don't go for three month subscription. Uh, the best strategy that you will subscribe the U world is six month of subscription. And again, if you are uh, really lazy, right, and if you have extra time, uh, like if you are uh, taking step one exam, like uh, in one year duration, then go for one year of uh, your world. Because uh, what is the uh, benefit of six month subscription that uh, it will not make you lazy, right? So how about uh, approaching to the your world question, right? How you will solve the uh, your world question? What is the correct uh, uh, strategy for it? You know that there is uh, two type of uh, mood in the U world. One is called uh, systematic voice mood, and the other is, uh, you know that uh, is random uh, mood. So if you are, uh, if you have subscribed to uh, one year uh, of U world, then go for a systematic voice first, and then in the second pass go to random mood. But if you are actually, if your exam is near, like uh, if you are in fourth year of medical school and your uh, exam is near, like professional exam then actually uh, do random plus time mode which is the best strategy for it i personally use a random plus u world because uh, you know that there is a uh, four uh, four thousand question and a uh, u world so if you are uh, actually uh, solving uh, one block per day okay it takes uh, from you like four months of uh, duration so once you have done uh, with 70 percent of u world then uh, solve one npm is uh, like uh, the best NVMe uh, which I take personally is NVMe 25, right? So, and uh, once you are done with 100% uh, U world, once you complete with the U world, then uh, do the NVMe 29, okay? Which is very predictive to the real uh, step one exam. So, if you are confident in yourself that uh, my score come out good, then uh, do the incorrect at the end and uh, then go for the uh, real exam, right? But what is the correct sequence of taking uh, NVMEs and what is the correct sequence of taking uh, U world self assessment? I will upload a video on that in other. So, this is all about U world. Thanks for watching my video.